And welcome to my talk. Hopefully you love it by the end of the, the rambling that I do today. Um, how many of you guys use Sketch right now? This is interesting. OK. How many still use Photoshop? Oh, I don't, mm -mm. <laughs> We got to change that today. So let's go to the second slide. I want to start off with who am I? So my name's Laura. She already kind of introduced me. But um, I wanted to give you a little bit of background. So nine weeks, well, in 2015, I went to a coding boot camp called WinCode. How many of you guys know about it? Awesome. Well, I went there, um, studied Ruby on Rails, and at the end, I'm like, OK, I love this, but I really love design. How can I merge both worlds into one? Uh, my first job was at Sato Global Solutions, and that was the place I was able to do all of that. I was able to mix my UX design kind of background, also my front-end development knowledge that I learned from WinCode um, while I was there. And honestly, it was a lot, <laughs> trying to combine both of that knowledge. Um, I worked with companies like Magic Leap while I was there, um, Under Armour, BCBG, Kate Spade, so many different retail clients. And I'm like, OK, how do I come to you guys today to explain why using design and development skills are very important? So let's go to it. So this is a list of all design tools. I am not saying learn all of them. <laughs> do not learn all of these. But I feel like there's a few here that can really expedite your development um, skills and your development time frame that you have. These are the two that I'm really, I want to nail down and talk about. So Sketch and Zeppelin. How many have heard of Zeppelin? OK, that's good. <laughs> so here, I'm sure you're asking, why isn't Photoshop on the list? So I'm not going to bash Photoshop right now. Photoshop is awesome. But Photoshop is mainly for photo manipulation. It was not designed for user interfaces. It was designed specifically for photo manipulation. Now, you can still use it. I'm not saying, you know, throw it away or anything. But I believe that Sketch is better for user interfaces. So let's go and compare. Photoshop versus Sketch. So in my opinion, and in a lot of other people's opinions, Photoshop is very bloated. It's complicated. It's for photo manipulation. While Sketch is simply, well, simple, you can use it for user interaction or interfaces. And you can also use a lot of the libraries that's already come with it. It comes with so many different things already loaded on. And it basically streamlines your entire process. Second one, say goodbye to your RAM if you're using Photoshop. It's going to slow down your computer. No, it's not ideal at all. While Sketch is very lightweight, perfect for developers, perfect for the environment that you have because you're going to have a lot of different development environments already running. It is best to use Sketch for that. Price. <sighs> so <laughs> Sketch, well, Photoshop starts at $19.99, and it ranges from $79.98 per month. That can definitely eat up your pockets, while Sketch is a one-time payment of $99. Now, put the asterisk there, because with Sketch, you have to upgrade every year to make sure that you're able to get all of your up updates, software updates every year. But if you do not do that, it's OK. You can still use your same $99 um, Sketch license. Um, Sketch is also with Mac only. Photoshop is Windows and Mac. But there's a way that you can also use it on Windows if you use a virtual machine. So here's the differences. Let me see if I can play this. All right. So with Photoshop, you're able to use smart objects. I'm going to try to speed up. With smart objects, it's awesome, but you can't create dynamic, um, dynamic layouts. With Sketch, you're able to create dynamic layouts. You can use your overrides right here on the side there. You can automatically change things right then and there. You can change the, um, the contents, everything here. And it's very seamless. You can change your active states for your navigation bars. Right then and there, you create one button, and that serves the purpose of all of your buttons that you'll ever use in your sketch file. Here's some plugins that can speed up your development. So I know I already talked about Zeppelin. So Zeppelin allows you, how many of you guys remember redlining with Photoshop? It's probably old, but yeah, I used to use it back when at my first job. But with Zeppelin, you're able to um, upload these and get all your padding, your margins, your um, 
fonts, your sizes, your colors, everything right here, no matter if you're on Windows or on Mac. You're able to also get code snippets. So you can focus on functionality only. You don't have to dig deep into understanding which CSS applies to what. You can just focus on the functionality. And also, when it comes to exporting, it exports in all of your um, sizing. So you don't have to worry about having all those folders upon folders of assets. It's right then and there. Prototyping. So from here, with Sketch plugins, you're able to, OK, <laughs> with Sketch plugins, you're able to prototype. So here's all the different prototyping tools. I usually use Envision. So you're able to link all of your screens, show your clients exactly what they're going to be using or looking at before you code it. That can save so much time. You guys don't understand. When I was a freelancer, I still am. Um, usually, this part was the, the, probably the most aggravating part, trying to code something. They say, oh, no, I don't like that. Then you have to recode it again, prototype it. So much easier. Now, the beauty of Sketch. Oh my gosh. So, <laughs> Sketch has allowed us all to prototype right here in the Sketch application. They have upgraded not too long ago, maybe a few weeks ago, and you're able to prototype right then and there. You'll see in a few seconds, let me wait for it. You're able to view it on any application. So, if that's web, on the phone, you can show everybody in your team how the prototype or how your, your design is supposed to work without you having to code it. So let's wrap up. All right, so Photoshop is better for photo manipulation, can't talk, <laughs> manipulation, while Sketch is for user interfaces. Photoshop is pretty heavy on your machine, while Sketch is lightweight. Sketch is awesome when it comes to libraries. The Sketch library allows you to work and collaborate amongst your entire team. Um, you can share your styles and your symbols across all artboards, across the files across everywhere. You don't have to recreate the wheel here. Um, Sketch plugin Zeppelin allows you to export on the fly, copy CSS code snippets, and implement designs pixel perfect. And the last thing is before you jump into code, prototyping is your best friend. Please prototype before you have to spend too much time. So yeah, that's it. Here's the information on me. 